Closing the building was hard. For some people, it is still the only safe space. So it was really hard to close our doors, but we care so much about our community. We had to make sure we were doing everything we could to keep people safe. I think COVID has taught us not to take things for granted. I don't remember all the details of being in the center the last time before I left. I didn't know it was gonna be three months. This place is special. You feel the responsibility to community. You feel the history when you walk in this building. I've been connected with the center since the late 80s, early 90s when I first came to the center to attend ACT UP meetings. They were there in the forefront of the AIDS epidemic. The organizations that have come out of the center since their inception have saved lives. They're still bringing together ideas and people, even if it's not in the physical building. One of the cornerstones of the LGBTQ community is perseverance. We have made it farther for some than we have for others. We still have a long way to go. I don't know that things will ever be the same, and I think we have an opportunity to actually make them better. So I hope we don't go back to the status quo. We know that in this country, people are not treated equally. When you look at the people who are using the center's services, they're just as diverse as New York City is. Supporting the center is supporting black lives. It's supporting black trans lives. It's supporting brown trans lives and brown people. We all know that the center is not just a physical building. It's all about the people. We are the people that can make change. We can join together. We are strong. We are resilient. We can have the center in our hearts even when the building is closed. It's time to change what's going on in the world. We've been doing this for decades. Still a lot of work to be done, but I'm hopeful that this is the beginning of some real change. We can do amazing things together. We can change the world. Today has been phenomenal. Welcome to the 275 Challenge Closing Ceremony presented by RBC Capital Markets. You all absolutely crushed it. I don't, think I, I don't think I've ever seen so much creativity from so many people between bake-offs and video game competitions, or I think someone was even kayaking. It's amazing. We also wanna make sure that we give a shout out to the partners who made today possible. Thank you so much to RBC Capital Markets, Lenox Hill Greenwich Village, ADP, Primal, CVS, Chromat, The Eagle, It Cosmetics, Chase Bank, Geico Cares, Gilead, Goldman Sachs, and PepsiCo. And now, I'm excited to introduce you to Rick Weber and Peter Schwartz to share a bit about their history with the center and why they participated in the 275 Challenge. Hi everyone, we're Rick and Peter, I'm Rick. I'm Peter. This is our 16th year in participating in Psycho for the Cause and happy to be doing the 275 Challenge this year. Um, 16 years. We came to the center when I found out I was HIV positive. I was new to New York City. Um, I didn't know where to go, where to turn, what to do. Peter knew exactly where to go and uh, took me by the hand. We went down to the center. We met a counselor who took us in, gave us the biggest hugs of our life and uh, told me that things would be okay and that the center would be there for me for whatever I needed, whether it was counseling, if I needed to get a medicine, whatever I needed, the center was there and would continue to be there for whatever I needed. You came to the center a different way. Yeah. <clears throat> so I came to the center uh, probably back in 1990, 91. And that was mostly for uh, social causes, looking for uh, to meet new people, get involved in different things, um, sort of explore different aspects of the gay community at the time. So, and uh, then um, later on, uh, you know, we use the HIV AIDS services specifically uh, when Rick got his diagnosis back in 2003. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, so um, I ended up using it uh, personally for um, support for serotonin couples, which is something that I had 
uh, hadn't found much of in the community was overall lacking, but the center had it. And uh, I used it in, in that way. So uh, Rick and I then each used the center in, in different ways, yet related. Um, so yeah, that was sort of my experience overall. So we uh, promised we would do the ride until there's a cure. And um, yeah, it's, it's been 16 years. 16 years, and, and it, it just hasn't happened. So. <laughs> so we're still doing it. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, we, we were like the founders of Team Eagle from way back when, and we've <clears throat> been passing the reins on to Jason and Tom, and they're doing a great job to keep Team Eagle alive and uh, hopefully providing some uh, uh, laughter along the ride for you when those three days were actually out there riding. Um, but just the center is very important to us. We want to make sure that it is there for the next generation. It's important to our community, especially in this day and age of COVID and, and homelessness. Um, it's just a really, really important resource to New York City and to our LGBT community and really anybody in the, within the community. Yeah, one of the main reasons why I um, really believe in the center and what they do is... Uh, just that their services, uh, one, they're extensive and numerous, and I don't necessarily even think that people always realize what's available. Um, whether that is um, you, you need help for testing or, or diagnosis, or you've, you're recently being diagnosed and you go, well, now what? Um, or you're, and, and, and you know, even in, in today's world where so much of it is online, um, just due to, to the whole COVID crisis that we have, where, you know, I just lost my job and, and I need support for how do I get insurance or how do I get medication now that I don't have insurance or I need legal help because, you know, I can't afford my apartment or whatever it may be, right? So it's, it's all ultimately related. And my favorite part and what I truly believe in the most is that <clears throat> it's free of charge to anyone that walks in the door or that calls and, and reaches out and asks us for help. And uh, it doesn't matter who you are, black, white, gay, brown, straight, doesn't matter. Um, you know, it's, it's available to anyone that, that just asks. Um, and that is invaluable. Uh, and I, I, I couldn't stress that more. So we, we wouldn't have known what to do had we not had it. So, um, you know, living proof. So uh, you completed the 275 challenge. And personally, we thank you. Um, being at the center means so much to us. Uh, Thank you so much for on behalf of New York. Uh, without you doing the challenge today and raising all the money you have raised, um, we can still continue these these very important um, resources throughout. So um, thank you once again, and um, have a good day. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Rick and Peter. Hi, y'all. I'm Mark Castaneda, your fundraising coordinator. It has been a blast watching all of you come up with your amazing challenges for today. You are all winners, but we have some, um, some folks to acknowledge for going above and beyond. I'm ready to present our 275 challenge award. Most creative challenge goes to Jen Wiener. Funniest social media post goes to the Shawala family. Highest fundraising at the end of the 275 minutes, individual solo participant goes to Daniela Vizca Vizcaino. Community team, team young leaders, corporate team, ADP and family. Congratulations to you all. You all crushed it. Let's turn it back to David. Thanks so much, Mark. How was your 275 challenge today? It was fun, I had a great time, and I'm just, um, it was wonderful seeing everybody's creative challenges. Totally, totally. And thank you so much for your work helping everybody in their preparations for the challenge. You're the best, Mark. Thank you. And congrats again to all of our award winners, but all of you today are winners, and we wanna celebrate each and every one of you. Before we go back to Glenda, I wanna share a few items. First, it's not too late to keep fundraising. You can still earn our incentive items until July 31st. All funds raised by then, including matching gifts, can earn you some pretty sweet swag. And if you're inspired to do more, your page will be accessible until December so you can keep the momentum going. Finally, 
please save the date for Sunday, September 13th for our virtual reunion. We can't wait to bring back everyone together and celebrate. More to come, but mark your calendars. And one last item, I'm excited to announce the official dates for Cycle for the Cause 2021. We fully expect to be back on the road next year. So join us from September 24th through the 26th, 2021 for our epic three day, 275 mile charity ride. If you thought today was fun, you won't wanna miss that experience. So from the bottom of my heart and all of the staff at the center, thank you. You all inspire us. So let's throw it back to Glenda. Thank you, David. Thank you, Glenda. <laughs> Did you have a good 275 day? I had the most incredible day I could have ever imagined. This community. I'm so, so glad. Thank you so much for everything. And once again, thank all of you for an incredibly inspiring day. We are so grateful that you took the time to be part of the 275 challenge and help support the center. We know there is so much going on in the world and your commitment to our work and helping the LGBTQ community means everything to us. So on behalf of the staff, board, and everyone who relies on the center, thank you. And it's my honor, very excited, to announce our fundraising total presented by RBC. But before I do that, I do wanna remind everyone that you have until July 31st to keep fundraising and earn an incentive. So don't stop now, never stop. Share your success on social media, email your coworkers and keep it going. And now without any further ado, our grand total today is <laughs> yes. That's awesome. Yes. Way to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to everyone. Oh my God. $800,000. Thank you all so much. We will see you again in September and we can't wait. Thanks again. You guys did it. Biking, running, walking, baking, sewing for 275 minutes. That is so incredible. I have made it to Times Square. You should feel so, so proud. Whatever you did for this 275 challenge, thank you. You are truly helping other people who need it. You are making the world a better place. Thank you from the bottom of my heart.